my catchphrase for this video. Back to the thrift store. So many books. So little time. So little room on your bookshelf. You just, just gotta get rid of them sometimes, you know? I know it's painful for us book hoarders and book lovers, but sometimes, sometimes it just has to be done. Because then you can buy more books with the money that you don't get back because this is a donation. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a unhaul video. It's my first one ever. I was recently going through all my books, and I've decided that I don't really need all the ones that I have. Most of these ones that I'm going to show you are ones that I gave like one or two or three stars, but I didn't love them. So I decided that I would send them all back to the thrift store that I got them from, and hopefully someone else will like them a lot more than I did. I can't really send any of you guys them because your girl is broke and has zero percent money to do all the shipping and handling and all that jazz. I just thought that I needed to make some room on my shelves for new books that I keep buying because, you know, the logic of me having no money so I keep buying books. It's it's just J and logic. Without further ado, let us get started. I'm not showing you them in any particular order. I'm just pulling them out of the laundry basket that I put them in. The first book is Love After Dust by James Ward. I won this off of Goodreads. I gave it two out of five stars. I'm pretty sure it's an alien book. I just found it really boring and I don't need it on my shelf because I'm never going to reread it. Next is You by Charles Benoit. I actually really did enjoy this book. I'm pretty sure I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, but I'm just never going to reread it, so why keep it on my shelf? Stuck in Neutral by Terry Truman. Most of these books I'm just never going to read again, so why not pass them on to somebody who can enjoy them more than I did? Chloe Doe by Suzanne Phillips. This is about a prostitute, and I'm pretty sure I gave it 3 out of 5 stars, but I'm never going to reread it. Hmm. <laughs> Billy by Anna Gavalda. If you've watched my channel for a while, this is my least favorite book in the entire world. I hated it. It's about this girl who talks to a star. One out of five. It's terrible. This is another one that I just absolutely hated. One out of five stars. And it is The Cheese Stealer's Handbook. By this author, who I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. But it was terrible. The only redeeming factor of this book was that it was set in Toronto, so I knew where everything was. 37 by Maria Beaumont. Another book I hated. I hated it so much. It's an adult book, and it was terrible. One out of five stars. Would not recommend. Forget You by Jennifer Eccles. I think I gave this a three out of five stars. It was cute. It was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. So I figured I might as well get rid of it so I can have more room on my shelves for books that I actually will super duper like. That was English. It was English, but not very good English. Okay. This is Winter's Kiss. It is a combination of two books. X Games by Jennifer Eccles and The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Katherine Hopkins. I gave the X Games a one star because it was terrible, and I gave the other one, I'm pretty sure, a two or three. I'm never gonna reread them. They're cute, lovey-dovey, like middle grade, basically, stories. It was fun in December. It's not December anymore. This is Darkness Becomes Her by Kelly Keaton. This is one of the first books that I've ever read for booktube. I just really didn't like it. It was boring. It was not up my alley. It was... It's like a paranormal romance. But it's very lower grade, and it was just... I'm just never gonna reread it. I'm just, I'm just not gonna happen. This is Sleepless by Sin Balog. I actually did really enjoy this book, but again... It's like a really low-level young adult book. I'm never gonna reread it. It's about the Sandman, and he falls in love with one of the girls that he's being a Sandman to. This is Stick Figure by Lori Gottlieb, and it is said to be the actual journal of 11-year-old anorexic. I read it recently. I'm pretty sure I gave it... 3 out of 5 stars. It was good, but I'm never going to reread it, and it was just kind of unrealistic because it's apparently a true journal, but some of the things that were written in it doesn't make sense for an 11-year-old. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Next is Pretty Face by Mary Hogan. I read this book last January, I believe. It's like this girl who goes on a diet and she's more than just a pretty face basically and it's just it was okay it was decent but it's not something that i'm gonna reread and i don't want it on my shelf anymore this is never let you go by emma carlson burn i gave this a two out of five stars i'm pretty sure and it was enjoyable i read it in one day but i don't want it on my shelf anymore that's, that's like what I, basically all of these books are i just don't want them on my shelf anymore i want to make room for new books that I'm actually going to enjoy and cherish with all my heart. This is Down a Dark Hall by Lewis Duncan. I did not like this book. I thought it was stupid. 
it's about this girl who goes to this school far away and then things start happening and she starts having visions and it's just, it's not good. It's just not good. This is The Missing Girl by Norma Fox Maser. I actually really did enjoy this book. I'm just never going to reread it and why keep it on my shelf when I can make room? for other books that I'm going to like better. The next is a series, and it is the Au Pair series. I actually talked about this in one of my Top 5 Wednesdays, like, a little bit back. I'm just, I'm never gonna read them. It's not gonna happen. I've read them all once, and I just, I don't need to read them again. This is If We Kiss by Rachel Vale. I read this back in December. It's just not good. It's just not a good book. It's like a really lower YA book again. I'm getting too old for these books. In my opinion, they're just not my taste anymore, so getting sent on its way. Next is Saving Zoe by Alison Noel. I read this when I was like 14. It's been on my shelf forever. I'm never going to reread it clearly because I am 20 years old now and I haven't even looked at it since. So, go into the thrift store for another 12 year old. Next is Vandal by Michael Simmons. Gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. I just didn't like it. I got it at a dollar store. So, I mean like, I spent a dollar on it. So, you know, didn't expect much from it. Didn't get much out of it. Next is Squall by Sean Costello. I actually did like this book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It's about a pilot named Tom Stokes and he crash lands into this cabin literally in the lap of a criminal and it was really interesting because he gets pulled into the life of this criminal. Feeling Sorry for Celia by Jacqueline Moriarty. I actually did enjoy this book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I still love how bright the cover is, but I'm never going to pick it up again. Back to the thrift store. <laughs> Next is Susan Votes Exposed, and it's about this girl who gets herpes and meets this guy online. And it's just, it's just an interesting book. It was, it was interesting. That's all I'm gonna say. Next is Dream House by Marzia Bizognin or Cutie Pie Marzia. Uh, got this book for a booktube tour by Grace over at Levenden Books. Did not like it that much, so I don't see the point of hanging on to it when someone else can enjoy it more than me. Next is Leslie's Journal by Alan Stratton. I hated this book. I think I gave it like a 2 out of 5 stars. I had major issues with it. It's about an abusive relationship. I hate abusive relationships, so while I thought that I would like this book, I don't know. The next two books are from the same author. His name is C.K. Connors. He's a great guy. Super nice. I love him. But... He sent me two of his short stories, and they are Table 9 and Adventures in Retail. I really enjoyed both of these, but I'm never going to pick them up again, so if I can get them to somebody else and spread the word of his writing, then why not do that instead of keeping them on my shelf where I'm never going to touch them again. Next is This Gorgeous Game by Donna Freitas. I didn't really like this book. It was very religious, and I'm not religious in any way, so most of the time I was kind of confused what they were talking about. Next is Blood Oath by Christopher Farnsworth, and this was one of the first books that I read for booktube as well. I really enjoyed it, but I'm never going to touch it again, so... It's about a vampire, the president's vampire. As you can see, it says, the president's vampire. Ugh, I hated this book. It's called Raven. It is by Allison Van Dypen, and it was terrible. It's about a breakdancing angel. Next is Ella's Love by Jasmine Lee. I won this off of Goodreads, and I did not enjoy it. Next is Roseblood. This is a Michael Quinn story. I'm also going to be giving this one, which is also a Michael Quinn story, and it's called Breakout. I'm gonna be giving both of these. To the thrift store, I won them both off of Goodreads. Both by Kevin Scott Olson. Next is Killing Britney by Sean Olin. I actually really did enjoy this book. But I'm not going to read it again. And if somebody else can enjoy it and not have it just sit on my shelf, then why not give it away so that I can make room for more books? Next is Dark Eden by Patrick Carmen. I liked this book, but it wasn't my favorite book. So again, I'm getting rid of it just so that someone else can enjoy it more than I did. The next couple of books are just like Harlequin romance novels. And I'm just, I'm not going to read them, so getting rid of them. Way of the Shadows by Cynthia Eden. Not going to read it. Bring Me to Life by Kira Sinclair. Not going to read it. Secret Obsession by Robin Perini. Not going to read it. Cold and Holiday Lockdown by C.J. Miller. Not gonna read it. Connie Weber's Christmas with a Seal. Not gonna read it. Accidentally Yours by Susan Mallory. Not gonna read it. Hot on the Hunt by Melissa Cutler. Not gonna read it. And finally, Snowbound with the Soldier by Jennifer Fay. Also, just not gonna read it. They've been under my bed for like 12 years. It's not gonna happen. Next is Slam by Walter Dean Myers. I got this from like the little library my mom calls it at her work, and it's basically they bring in books for kids and you can take whatever you want. I gave them like 20 million books one time, so I'm allowed to just go in and take it. And it was basketball, so I picked it up, but 
I'm not gonna read it. And this is also from the Little Library. It's The Resurrectionist by Michael Collins. I don't know why I chose it off of the thing because it's not my style at all. But for some reason I thought, you know, I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna love it and I still haven't read it, so. This is After by Francine Prose. I hated this book. I gave it a one out of five stars. I'm not gonna read it ever again in my life and it's terrible, so. No. It has a lot of racist slurs and homophobic slurs and I just can't deal with that. I hated it, so bye. This is Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. I liked this book, but it was very disturbing to read, so I'm just, I'm never gonna reread it. It was a good experience, well it happened, but now I'm just, no thank you. This is Jay's Journal by Anonymous. I was very excited when I got this because it's called Jay's Journal, and my name is Jay, and we all know that I like things with my name on it. And I hated this book, I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars, I just could not deal with it. It was stupid and boring. So it's going back to the thrift store and someone else named Jay can pick it up, maybe. And then we have Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price. I hated this book. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. It's about this girl who has anorexia. And the author used the R word many, many times as an insult in this book and it's one of my biggest pet peeves. So I do not want it on my shelf. I cannot deal with it. Goodbye. And then the final book that I'm going to be giving back to the thrift store. Which I'm upset about because I was very excited about it when I found it. And it is Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. She wrote The Duff. The Duff is one of my favorite books. I thought it was amazing and I just hated this book so much. I'm sorry Cody, but it's going back to the thrift store and hopefully someone else can like it more than I did. Alright guys, so that was my unhaul. There's quite a few books. Not as many as I should probably be giving away, but you know, progress, your girl doesn't like giving things away that are hers even though she knows she doesn't need them. So, you should all be proud of me. I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Goodbye!